Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Show, where I have with me Ian Andrews and a couple of the folks from the Perfect Puree brand I want to talk to. Did you want to, what's your name? I'm Kitty. Kitty. Kitty Heyman. Mm -hmm. Kitty. And Natalie Bovis. Natalie for the Liquid News. The Liquid yes. News. <laughs> I, I do admit I did Google around to see all the stuff you're doing and I'm like, oh wow, you have like a big history. So how did you, I mean, puree, puree, how did you kind of decide that was something to kind of get into? Well, for me personally, um, my first cocktail book was called Pregatini's Mixology for the Mom-to-Be, which is a non-alcoholic cocktail book. And, you know, you don't have to be pregnant, of course, to have non-alcoholic drinks. Right. You might just want to have, you know, a little break from the madness of tails, give your liver a little bit of a rest. Every morning. Every morning, <laughs> which is why Kitty and I are here. Um, and, you know, Perfect Puree is such a great product to use that way because it is you know, juices that have been, you know, fruit that's been pureed, frozen, it's not powdered. A lot of people ask if it's powdered. Here yeah. it's weird. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, what? Most things, and when I hear puree, I think chunky, like right. puree. It must be the container, because it reminds yeah. me of when you work on supplement. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 I have a supplement that comes in all the same yeah. exact same Maybe it's the container oh, then, yeah. because we're like, why would you think it's powdered? It says puree. Right. <laughs> it's good. Is that French for powder? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, but it's such a nice product because it's really natural. It's something you can put in your body, start tails off with a really like positive yeah. morning. And, you know. so, because when whenever you send them, they're all natural, right? Because when I get them in the mail, they're always cold. Yeah. And do you guys still shit with dry ice? Because mm -hmm. that's the best yeah. part. Yeah, isn't it amazing? Actually, like, how did it get here so fast? Yeah. It's so cold. Yeah. Oh, I always take it out and make smoke in the house. <laughs> I'm not, I don't just buy dry ice just to smoke the house on this, it's pretty cool. So I mean it comes completely fresh and then, I mean is it kind of focused on just a single ingredient or is it a, you know, like a blend of different flavors? Or? There's two there's kinds, yeah. yeah, so there's the singular flavors which are the purees and then they also have their own blends that they make which are great. So they have like one that's like sangria which is um, many different um, fruit juices, it's got like apple, pear, um, uh, passion fruit, like a bunch of different products. Um, and then they also have like a mojito one, which is like, just for ease of mixing. I think they're really different so it's just like with this. Mojito, rum, yeah. I, yeah, some of them are so easy to work with. You're just like, I just yeah. need a yeah. <laughs> Which is awesome when you have a group of people over and you talk about yes. pre-made cocktails and stuff. Yeah. If you want to, if you're a mixology fan, it's yeah. so hard to make drinks for a big crowd. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So when you have a or something, it's like, yeah. I mean, this is kind of big. Like when yeah. you, because I've tried to, when I've had extra after like doing a, a, a filming or whatever, I'm like well, let's just bring this over, and there's always some left. Like it seems like I can't make it. Yeah. I can't finish. <laughs> yeah. It's like Chinese food. You get the little little white box, and it just keeps making so much more. <laughs> And you continue to make more because you're adding other stuff to it. In our case, usually we're all using one. Right. Yeah. Like, do, now, do you do you know if they're paired to different types of liqueur? Like, no, is that an these smoothies aren't specifically, but I mean, but you can. I mean, the, the yeah, puree style. Yeah, they're right. The right. mixtures are, you know, maybe just obviously a rum yeah, drink, yeah. but whatever. That tastes delicious. Yeah. Like, Mint and yeah, simple syrup tastes delicious with anything. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like sure. peach is great with bourbon. Right. Yeah. Yuzu could be really fun with like some gin or anything. Yeah. So you you kind of pick the flavor pairing and then fit with it. Because yeah. I know on your We're website there's tons of cocktails yeah. with different yeah. ones. So you yeah. look up the sweet of biscuits and it'll give you different cocktails. Yeah. I usually do that because it's easier. Just go yeah. click, click. That's the one we'll make. Yeah. It's, 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 it's and some of them use combinations of the different different blends, so you have some that'll have this one and another one in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is, now? What are these that we have here? We well, this one, one is the the, the antioxidant zing. It has a blueberry puree, banana puree, banana nectar, and then it's topped with fresh blueberries and bananas. So people get a little bit of fruit while they're in. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you don't even know what you're drinking, that gives you a clue. Like there's blueberries <laughs> and bananas. Yeah. And I love the bananas. Yeah. But it actually has. You're thirsty, right? You want some of this? <laughs> and that's awesome for tails because it's so damn hot. Yeah. So okay. yeah. good. Yeah. I found blueberries are really hard to work with. Like when you yeah. make anything I've tried to do, it never tastes like blueberries. Blueberry lemonade, it just is purple. Yeah. Lemonade. It doesn't actually have any flavor. Like it's not the right flavor. Right. But the puree gives you a little bit more of everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, and like blueberries are a great example because like when they're in season, they're off season. They're always delicious, but when they're in season, they're going to taste really different than if you get them off season. They're like right. more. And then sometimes you'll just get a batch that are more tart or small or whatever. Um, so the puree is going to be just like, So you, do you, I mean, is this, does that mean you would have to take multiple batches and kind of blend the blueberries together so you don't have, I mean, is it always a consistent product? It is always or? consistent, yeah. Yeah. Where so Batman. there's probably multiple batches of everything that are brought into it to get that. Really, it really reminds. I grew up in Maine and we used to pick all the blueberries, yeah. so it reminds me of just grabbing frozen blueberries out of the freezer. Yes. I always throw them in the milk and it freeze up. Yeah. And that's the blueberry flavor. Okay. You don't lose anything. Else. This one has um, it's the green apple puree, ginger puree. Um, we put some apple cider in there. We put a little coconut oil and nutmeg. I mean, sorry, cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Okay. cinnamon. Cinnamon. No, I said it's not bad. Yeah, no, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Our suggestion. <laughs> and this are great yes. cinnamon is um, anti-inflammatory, so it's ginger. Yep. Yeah. There's a lot of room for anti-inflammatory this week. Yeah. That is. And apples are really healthy for your liver as well. Okay. There you Fun go. Fact. Remember, apple juice for your liver. And apples apple is good for your liver, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to probably need a lot. Smoothie yeah. day keeps the doctor open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But th this reminds me like a fall cocktail. Yeah, totally. At yeah. least fall where we come from. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily here. Right. Probably just fine. It's probably. Are you from space? I'm from Boston. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're from Boston. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, I mean, that's like your crispy. You can get the. Yeah, totally. It's, it's almost like a pie. Yeah. yeah. Cold yeah. pie. All the Boston is. Yeah, it's pie. Uh, I like pie. Like pie. You only get it. So then, <laughs> is there a cranberry? Do you guys have any there cranberries? Is. Yeah, there's a cranberry more. one. And the cranberry, I believe the cranberry has a little bit of cherry in it, which makes it um, sweeter. Yeah, yeah. It balances the tart again, balancing the tartness of the um, cranberries. Now, is everything natural? Like you said, everything's natural. Mm -hmm. Same thing with colors. It's whatever color comes out. Yeah, it's naturally to. sourced. Yeah, everything is natural. Um, they do add a cajun depending on the product, they will add some sugar, um, and some, sometimes like a little bit of citric acid, and that's just to stabilize the brick level, like we were talking about keeping it consistent from batch to batch. Um, so, you know, most people are familiar with brick level when talking about wine, so they're willing to do the same thing right. with the products. And, um, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. And they source the products from all over the world, so we're really convinced that the freshest version of passion yeah. fruit, blueberry, you know, they're listed, and actually, I've gotten some um, sample, I, I work for them as a brand ambassador in Boston, so I get samples constantly. <laughs> um, but I've gotten some list that uh, detail, I know it's so much fun, they like will detail which country. Oh cool. Yeah, I don't have my talking points memorized, <laughs> but they will detail like, this is from Argentina, this is from here, which is really, really cool. You can kind of trace. Yeah, it's, it's great. It sounds like a product uses things that are usually difficult to work with, and it's really making it easy for yeah. and stuff to, to get these flavors that you can't get easily. Yeah. Even though the fruit's available. Right, the right. Aren't available. Like right. passion fruit. I mean, I. Passion fruit's a pain. Have you ever seen a passion fruit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First off, the problem with passion fruit is it tastes a little funky when you just cut it and eat it with a spoon. Yeah. Then on top, like we like passion fruit. Yeah. And well, my wife really likes passion fruit, so I'll buy them at the store. It's, it's, it, you never know what you're gonna get. Like sometimes right, exactly. it's super tart. Exactly. Like, you can't almost swallow it. It's so tart. Yeah. yeah. And then you get these sweet ones. Strange. Yeah. Now, and I, from what I'm understanding, talking to people, I guess in Brazil they're a little sweeter, okay. and then in, in like Dominican they're tarter. Right. So you, but you're at How the store. You I don't know. Right. Like, exactly. You have to look a little yeah. thicker. <laughs> so for passion fruit, and a lot of things call for passion fruit puree. Mm -hmm. and I don't see anything ever called for. Passion fruit. It's syrup passion or puree. Right, yeah, right, that's true. And it's having something you know is going to taste a specific way if you're trying to make either like a crazy blended hurricane thing yeah. or something where you want the passion to focus. Having a consistent flavor that's probably more sweet than mm -hmm. tart is probably it. Yeah. yeah, the passion fruit actually is one that they don't add any sugar to, which is right. interesting. Yeah, and it comes with a concentrate, so it's a very, it's really good. It's like very fresh, but like very, I mean, it's like such a high acid. I didn't know it's how high acid of a food. That's one of 
the biggest, I think, applications of perfect puree in a bar setting. Because, you know, when you have your cocktail list and you have guests that come in, they try a cocktail that they love, you know, they want it to always taste the way they remember it to taste. Right, right. And, you know, I love to make homemade ingredients and make my own purees and all that kind of thing and just get, you know, love doing that. But the problem is, in a bar setting, it's not always going to be consistent. One of the biggest advantages is not only can you get certain ingredients year-round that aren't always available, but now you can have available for your, your cocktail right. menu, but it's always going to taste the way you want it to. Just get grapes in it, right? That is the um, calming hibiscus refresher. Ah! Yep, so it's got a hibiscus uh, puree. It's got a sangria puree, which is a fresh fruit blend, so it's not a mahalo at all, like we normally say. Um, sangria is a blend of a ton of different fruits, um, so that's a good example of the combination. It's got like the pear, the pear, passion fruit, um, apple, uh, just a bunch of different flavors, and then we have nut milk. Really like, yeah, I like, I like the grape is an homage to the same grape. Yeah. 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 I think that one, great. right? Like right now, that one tastes the best because great. my mood. I don't know. It's kind of a different mood thing. Like this, I could see more when I drink in the fall or my liver needs help. I don't know how you can pick one. Right well, because this one tastes like a cocktail. Like this is what I want to have. Like I feel like I could just drink these all day, which I could probably do. Yeah. You don't have any alcohol in them. You can actually. It feels yeah. like it's on. A full built cocktail. Yeah. So, I mean, this tastes like a pie. Right. Which is, I want to have this after I eat or have a few of these. And the best thing is that Tails, if you have one of these and you're walking around and run into a brand ambassador, oh. they probably have a mini. Yeah. And you can have one of them. Mini. Uh, and if you're a TML. No doubt you're going to find called something. Street Corner Mixology is what we like to call it. <laughs> That sounds like a uh, big for a party for your own. Uh, yeah, mini. I've actually done that. So I did a cocktail. Well, not quite. But my parents, we had a 50th, 50th wedding anniversary party for them. Five zero, amazing. Um, my parents were so cute. They don't understand anything about bartending, and they like didn't understand how I was going to make punch for all of the people. And I was like, okay, number first. <laughs> they couldn't get their heads around it. So I made a non-alcoholic punch using perfect puree, and then I had like a bottle of vodka on the table next to it, and I wrote on it at one and a half ounces. Your drink if you want an alcoholic drink, and then the kids could drink the non alcoholic, right. uh, the adults too. And you don't have to have that you know, moment of someone who isn't drinking and being like, Do you have anything non alcoholic or feeling put out? Yeah, you know, that's the, that's, you don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable. People could just drink that if they wanted to slow their roll. So it was a long party. It was like and ain't nobody hours. knows. It's like, that's what works for me. It's like if I'm drinking this yeah. and everybody else has cocktails, and I've done this, where like you're like, You know what? I want to be yeah. like, one that's. All here. Yeah. Yeah. Saying, why aren't you drinking? Yeah. Why aren't you right. drinking? And everybody's like, yeah. And then you exactly. get the impression, oh, why are you having a drink? You need a Can contest. You have that. Like, everybody exactly. leaves you alone. Yeah, it's good. It works really, really well. That works is like, you can just get some soda water and a little lime in there, and you just walk around, and everybody thinks you're drinking your tonic, right, and right. Right. soda, yeah. and, and they'll leave you alone. <laughs> we'll end with this. How do the how, how does the an average consumer pick this up? Can we get it? Where is it going that way? What's the website? Yeah. Great. So you can go to the Com and order them there. Um, I believe the is reserved for a big one like this. But at your point, they do last and last and last. Right. So um, they say usually it takes within seven to ten days once it's open. But, um, I have, I can confirm <laughs> yeah. that that is what they probably, the FDA probably says is what you said. Yeah. Then there's what I typically do, and I, I don't know, they always taste a fine. I mean, right, they, yeah. yeah. The, I know that the brands usually say, well, that's one of the freshest, the yeah. most vibrant, yeah. so you pick that day. And then there's yeah. me who's like, I don't know, this is in here, let's just... Yeah. <laughs> you're right, I think you can get Amazon, Amazon, yeah, right? Amazon oh, awesome. yeah. yeah. And then another good thing about them, I have some bartenders that use them for um, to make syrups, I can use them to make shrubs. And, um, uh, actually, so the course. So there's many applications if you want to get creative. Like as an infusion type thing? Um, yeah, I mean, I've never heard of the core, but I, they use them for that. You can boil it, you know, uh, it concentrate it with us to make it into a syrup and then definitely with an infusion. Cool. And then the shrubs, you just add um, to the creation. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so the, the you, you, you guys <laughs> add in like the waters and everything you need to, to make it taste right, and then they boil them all down. Yeah. <laughs> They do their own thing. They're part exactly. Of what do you think? That's what they do. Make sure the brain is yeah, <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to finish these off. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I got a right, mini in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. See you guys later. It's just like ice sculpturing, but more fun because you get to break stuff. Worst case, if it doesn't come out right or you break one oddly, then just 